All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving the question 27 from the second chapter of uh, Merriam textbook. And uh, the question is asking to find the angle theta that the force 800 must be applied in order to have the resultant of the two forces have a magnitude of 2000 newtons. And for this condition, we need to determine the angle beta between R and the vertical. First of all, we're going to use the parallelogram rule in order to find the resultant of the two vectors. And from parallelogram rule, we know if we have these two vectors, let's call it V1 and V2, and this angle here, let's call it alpha, we know the resultant, let's call it R, would be R squared is equal to V1 squared plus V2 squared plus 2 V1 times V2 times cosine of alpha. So we have the same thing in here. We basically what we have in here is that this will be our resultant R. So our R would be basically 1400 squared plus 800 squared plus 2 times 800 times 1400 times cosine of theta and from the question we know that resultant has a magnitude of 2000 so this will be basically 2000 squared so if we calculate this we'll get uh, cosine of theta is equal to 0 0.625 and theta will be cosine inverse of 0.625 which will be 51.3 degrees and that's the first part of the question where we need to find the angle theta. So now that we have this it's easy enough to find the resultant. Let's call this our x and y. x and this will be our x and this will be our y and if you want to show the ry component, so we can see that uh, the only x component that we have is from the 800 newton force. So that would be our rx and ry that we have in here would be the y component from both. So let's just find rx and ry. That's pretty easy. So we know if this angle is theta, this angle here is theta 2, so our Rx would be simply 800 times sine of uh, theta, which was 51.3. So what we get for Rx is a 624.34 newtons. And what we get for Ry, so as I said, the 1400 is already in y direction so 1400 plus 800 cosine of 51.3 which will be the y component of the 800 newton force so this time we'll have so this will be 1900.19 newton and now that we have rx and ry so this will be our rx and this will be our ry and this is our resultant that we found R and what we are interested in is this angle here, beta, which is what we are looking for. So the angle between R and the vertical or our Y axis. So basically tangent of beta would be Rx divided by Ry, which is 624.34 divided by 1900.19. So the tangent of beta will be 0.3. 29 and simply beta would be the tangent inverse of 0 0.329 which will be 18.19 degrees and that's the answer for the second part of the question where we needed to find the angle beta or this angle that would be all for this one please make sure to subscribe to the channel like and comment and let me know if you have any questions uh, regarding this one or the three textbooks that we are covering in this channel and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one mm -hmm.